presidency accuses Nigerians of rejoicing over insecurity. The presidency has accused some Nigerians of celebrating the insecurity currently ravaging many parts of the country. Special advisor to President Mahmoud Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, in this week's edition of Fridays with Adeshino, slammed Nigerians for allegedly rejoicing whenever an attack is launched in any part of the country. Additional who likened Nigerians to a song by Mark Jackson about the man in the mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Urge Nigerians to change their perception of the pres present government and mend their ways. According to him, those celebrating the challenges of the country fail to talk about the achievement of the president's administration. There is no uh, achievement. The only negative achievement President Muhammad Buhari has achieved is insecurity. So Femi Adeshina should just go and sleep and do not open your gutter mouth and say uh, President Mamadou has achieved a, a whole lot. He has never achieved anything. He promised us he's going to change the country. This is the change we, 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 we voted for. He said in six months, you will uh, eradicate Boko Haram. They will not, will not hear anything concerning Boko Haram. Number two, you said you are going to pay 5,000 Naira each to every jobless youth. Did he do that? Did he pay anything? Did he pay? Eh? He said, okay, he's going to provide three, over three million jobs. Did he do that? So there is no achievement. So for what he has promised, he has not done anything. So anything he's doing is for just for his pocket. You, 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 uh, uh, you, you, you executed a, a plan, you commissioned train from Nigeria to uh, Nigeria Republic. Is that what we sent you? Nobody has sent you. Now, economy is lopsided. First time in history that one dollar equals to 500 naira. Eh? Is that, a, is that a, a achievement? Lately, you ban Twitter. You say it's an achievement. A government that is not disciplined. A government that cannot even serve the situation of insecurity. He said he has achieved. So many killings going on. He has not, never addressed anything. Addressed uh, the Nigerians. He has never addressed the Nigerians over insecurity. I'll keep on saying it. President Barry has never achieved anything. Except for, you know, looting money. Uh, they, will, they, will, they will borrow money from diaspora, they will share it among themselves. Is that, is that an achievement? They have nothing. Like uh, the first day, uh, 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 minority uh, members of the PDP and some other APC uh, senators, they were arguing over Twitter, ban Twitter or no Twitter. It almost caused chaos. Those ones just left, they said they will continue to tweet. Since it's not under the uh, constitution of Nigeria for anybody not to express his right. But provided you are expressing it, you are expressing yourself positively, and you are not tampering with anybody's uh, territory. Fulani men, you are killing everybody, doing all sorts of things. You have not addressed such. You are not telling us that they are the foreigners. It's not the Fulani men that are in Nigeria. Those are the foreigners. Then those are the fo those that were the foreigners. Have you brought them to book? Instead, you are you are, you are laying threats to the Indigos, uh, telling them the indigenous people of Biafra are the one destabilizing your your uh, administration, which is wrong, which is not it. You you people in the northern part, because you have crisis in the north, so for us to shift attention or divert the narratives, you brought in machinery to start destroying police stations, doing all sorts, and you know blaming it, blaming it on the uh, indigenous people of Biafra. Is that an achievement? Eh? Like Mohammed will come, will give us blasphemy, propaganda. She will, uh, Garba she will come, will say rubbish. They will say they have achieved. What have they achieved? So, sit down in Asso Rock, doing nothing. He said they have achieved. No. Please. According to him, those celebrating the challenges of the country fail to talk about the achievement of the president's administration. The presidential spokesman said, You rejoice when Boko Haram kills our troops. That is wrong. Even the people that are in South, they are even, you know, no, not even happy about the Boko Haram issue. Though uh, the South and the North are, uh, don't agree, but they are all human beings. We believe everybody have a uh, right, equal right to live. Not some people coming and invading uh, human beings. Even the, more, uh, the, the Southern people feel more remorse than the Northern when uh, insurgency or killing is being occurred in the Northern part of the country except if we are going to lie to ourselves. Nobody like anybody being killed. Southern people will put themselves in the shoe of the northern land that were killed. But instead, the northern people will just sit down. They will, you know, you know they, they, they will do anything. They will just, you know, leave it for God. 
uh, maybe after being killed, you, you meet seven virgins up, up there or wherever uh, their belief is taking them to. Rubbish. Well, according to him, he said, you are the man in the mirror. You exult when bandits carry away students into captivity. You are the man in the mirror. You dance when bombs and explosives go off, killing innocent souls. You are the man in the mirror. He called on Nigerians to emulate the Cross River Governor Ben Ayade, who, according to him, dumped the People's Democratic Party for the ruling or Progressive Congress, APC, the betterment of the entire nation. What is APC? What is PDP? We are not following PDP, we are not following APC. Let's forget about a uh, party. We are not talking about party, we are talking about your achievement. What 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 achieve what achievement can you point to that okay this present administration has achieved? And people that are listening listen very good and listen very well. What is the achievement of President Muhammadu Buhari? Is it from the banditry or the kidnap of so many students in the country? We are not even talking about the South East or South South or Southwest. We are talking about the North. Let's talk about the North now. What achievement has he achieved since he came into power in 2015? We have not, you know, no stable light, no steady water. The economy is downturned. So many things have been faulty. Nothing is going on, uh, going working well. Now see what they did to uh, Ibrahim uh, uh, Atayru, the late uh, chief of army staff. See what they did. They knew that he knows more than himself because he's, that man is not a full any person. He's, he's from Kaduna. He's an, a typical Awusa man. They killed that man. And you're telling us you have achieved so many things. Let's even forget about that. The Boko Haram of the thing, when Chad government came to even rescue us, you know, tried in less than two days, they conquered Boko Haram, shift them from the base of the Lake Chad, push them away. They came back later because Nigeria, the Nigerian government couldn't do anything. But the Chadian president came for himself before he became late, fought uh, the battle for himself. And President Bahamut Bari called himself a general, a retired soldier. Can he, can he, even as a retired soldier, uh, the, the, the plan they have is just to fulanize the country and, and to make things worse, to Islamize the country. They have been brainwashed and doing all sorts of things. Well, let's react to uh, comments that people have been commenting. So many people are hungry. Well, don't say Nigerians. Say the political elite because they are paying you back in your own coin. Do you remember when you were in opposition? Uh, yeah, this person is replying to Femi Adesino that those that are happy concerning the insecurity. No, he said it's the highlight. Why rejoicing over insecurity? Right-minded Nigerians want to be safe, yes. You politicians are the ones who expose the country to tyranny and an undignified environment as a result of your corrupt satanic tendencies of governance, which is true. An angry man is an angry man. Mr. President, with his pre presidency, brought hunger in Nigeria, which I didn't mention earlier. Well, certain people need to have their heads examined by a native doctor because the cure for their ailment is yet to be discovered in the medical world. Nigerians who are refusing to come for the Christmas holidays or visit their families are happy that our roads are no longer safe, Abby. Which human being is ever happy that insecurity is now the burn of the satanic rule of the foreign Fulani settlers? That's what I said. Even for those that are living in the southern Nigeria, they are not even happy with the killings going on in the north. Despite the 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 the, uh, the chaos of despite the uh, the on agreement or or despite the you know different language or differences in ethnicity, we are not even happy. Nobody is happy. Eh? You are now saying you, you uh, everybody is so, so many people are happy because of the insecurity, except for the elite or for the politician or the opposition party, which I would say. Well, time will not permit us to say much. Well, I would like you to share your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV Seven. Thanks for listening and God bless. You.